Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Jim and Java. We are in the middle of summer and this is still a busy time for a lot of nonprofit organizations. Even though things may have slowed down a little bit, you may be getting a little time to rest, be on vacation. We're starting to head now into the home stretch uh, of the summer and starting to prepare for another fall starting up just after Labor Day. And uh, there's a number of schools that are starting back around the United States the first week of August. So it's still a very, very busy time of the year. Uh, I'm excited always to be able to be here with this channel to bring you exciting topics and strategies and plans to help move your nonprofit organization to the next level and help you increase income and become fully funded. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell to be notified of the next release. Let's jump right into our first question of the day. Our first question today is from Don in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Don asks, I'm trying to write a proposal to fund a new project. What key ingredients do I need? Well, Don, thanks so much for that question. And I've addressed it a number of times in our subject matter videos. Please watch this video and you'll learn a lot more in detail about your question. But Don, what I would say is, as you're starting to prepare for a proposal, a good proposal includes some important ingredients. The first ingredient is stating the problem. And I believe too often the nonprofit organizations miss this important element. They immediately jump into, here's our organization and here's what we're doing and here's why we do it. And that to me misses an important step. And that step is, presenting the, the problem. And that important step is presenting the problem. You've got to really spend the time, not a lot of time, but sp spend the time to identify for individuals the problem that exists in our world. It's so important that you let people know why your organization was started. It was probably started to help solve a problem that existed in our world. And what happens too often is the average person really doesn't understand the problem. I've used an example before in the past. Living in Fairfax, Virginia for 30 years, which is one of the highest income counties in the entire United States, I really didn't realize that there was a homeless problem in Fairfax County, Virginia, until I started meeting with an individual who ran a rescue mission and a food pantry in Fairfax County. And she indicated and gave me the numbers of all the homeless in Fairfax County. I was blown away. I had no idea. If you would have asked me beforehand, would I give a gift to help to solve the homeless problem in Fairfax County? After I thought to myself, there's no homeless problem, I probably would have given a token gift. Once she explained to me the problem that existed and how many are dealing with homelessness, I was ready to write out a sacrificial check at that point in time. You've got to make sure that you identify the problem for your person and state the case. Second, you've got to identify the solution. Hopefully, if you've done a good job, your organization is the solution or one of the main solutions to that problem. Of course, the activities, programs, and projects that you do should help to solve that problem. And go into detail with them the kinds of things that you're doing. And be sure to sprinkle in lives that have been changed. Give examples, give first names, give pictures of people. Remember the principle, people give to people justified by the cause. So people want to identify with someone who had this problem and now their life has changed. Will you help other people like Fred or Joe or Mary who are in the same situation. Help them solve this problem. So it's so important that you do that. And of course, present the funding opportunity that's out there. And I said funding opportunity, not funding problem or funding need. 
it's been said that every organization has needs, but few have exciting opportunities. Present this as an opportunity with outcomes and measurable outcomes. Just saying we need a new projector to be able to go into classrooms and present materials, or we need an ultrasound machine doesn't explain why you need that. You need to present to people why you need to be buying water filters in particular countries to provide clean water and sanitary situations for people in impoverished nations. And so it's so important that not only do you present the opportunities, but what are the measurable solutions or outcomes that come from that. So be sure to be presenting in your proposal your problem, the solution, programs and projects, and the opportunity that exists to make a difference in our world and in the future. So Don, I hope that answered your question. I hope this is helpful. Once again, if you need further help, check out our videos. I put a playlist up here that will explain how to make a proposal to a major donor. And as I always say, we are here to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. See you again next week.